एम एस रामाया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हेलो फ्रेंड्स विद दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर डिटरमाइनिंग द सिल्ट कंटेंट इन सैंड बाय वॉल्यूमेट्रिक मेथड फील्ड टेस्ट अपैरेटस 250 ml measuring cylinder 6 mm iron rod porcelain dish steel rule sample collect about 500 grams of sand from the site there are two types of harmful substances present in fine aggregates that is organic matter produced by decay of vegetable matter and or or clay and silt which form coating thus preventing a good bond between cement and the aggregates if present in large quantities they result in the increase water cement ratio and finally affecting the strength of concrete field test is generally conducted in order to determine the volumetric percentage of silt in natural sand for percentage up to 6% otherwise more detailed test as prescribed by standard code are required to be conducted procedure prepare 1% solution by mixing 10 grams of common salt in 1 liter of water put this solution in measuring jar up to the mark of 100 ml add sand as received in the jar till its level reaches 200 ml add solution again so that the mixture reaches the level of 300 ml measuring jar top is now covered with the palm of hand and shaken vigorously by turning upside down then allow it to stand undisturbed for an interval of time take the reading of sand in a jar after settling that is h1 take the reading of total sample in the jar after settling that is h2 then the reading of silt h is equal to h2 minus h1 calculations and observations in terms of silt content in percentage that is equal to h by h2 into 100 where reading of the sand of the silt h reading of total sample in a jar after settling h2 are made Hi students as a part of concrete and hive laboratory today we are discussing the experiment on silt content of sand okay so let us go on with the apparatus required for the silt content we require water we require one more empty measuring jar we require a sand where the silt content has to be tested we require a electronic wave balance and also we require sodium salt let's start the experiment take 1 liter of water add 10 grams of salt sodium salt into the water what it becomes it becomes naos solution sodium hydroxide solution so what we are going to do we are going to mix it well till the salts will be dissolved okay after that what i am going to do is i am going to take up a empty measuring jar i am going to put 100 ml of this with the naoh solution i am going to add 100 ml of this with the naoh solution then add the sand which is to be tested till the meniscus level rises to next 100 ml at last i am going to add up the sol uh, solution for another 100 ml we are going to keep that in the uh, conditioning for 3 hours now i am pouring this for the first 100 ml so i am going to add the aggregate to be tested Just reach 150. I need to add 
equal to 100 Now it reached 200. Now what I am going to do, I am going to add 100 more ml of solution inside the beaker. So I will keep this for conditioning for 3 hours. After conditioning for 3 hours, you just observe there is a clear demarcation between the sand as well as the solution. What we initially added is 100, but you observe there is some amount of rise in the clay particles here. Not on this particular height 150 mm, this particular height uh, to the what the height we added the 100 mm gives you the silt content in the sand. As far as possible. Uh, sand should be having less amount of silt or no amount of silt for a good construction practices. This completes the silt content determination experiment. At MSR UAS, we spark your imagination unlike any other.